Well, that's it for our show. Have a great backwards day. And stay, and stay classy, classy heart. heart. The farther backward you look, the farther forward you can see. Winston Churchill. That was today's quote of the day. There will be a safe school ambassadors meeting today at lunch in Miss Vega's room, K1. New members are welcome. Any questions? Please reach out to Miss Vega or Penelope Quiros. Domino's Club meets today at lunch in room F33. It's a game that you can actually play. Feel free to stop by. Mechanics of the Mind will be meeting today at lunch in room F31. Join to learn about disorder psychology. Everyone is welcome. Those are the clubs. Today is the first day of the Lunch Volleyball League. It will be taking place in the large gym. Make sure to get there quickly to help set up the nets so we can play as much as possible. CSF applications are now being accepted for last semester's grades. Please bring a current transcript along with your application and dues of $3 to Mrs. Hughes in room C2. Applications can be found on the school website or in C2. Please do not interrupt classes. Applications are due no later than Friday, February 2nd at 8.30 a.m. The ASVAB Career Exploration Program is a free career planning resource available to HART students. The next test will be administered by the military on Wednesday, February 7th at 8 a.m. in room Q6. Scan this QR code to register or contact Mrs. Trujillo in the counseling office for more information. Attention HART students, we invite you to join us for the 2024 Black History Month Art Show. This event will showcase all different forms of student art, such as paintings, drawings, digital art, poems, dances, music, wherever your creativity takes you. We'd love to see it. If you feel up to the task, we encourage you to submit an art piece so that we can show off and enjoy the heart district talent. This event will take place on Tuesday, February 13th from 6 to 7 p.m. at the Heart District Administrative Center. We invite you and your families and friends to attend and enjoy the art show. If you choose to submit your artwork, you must submit a copy, photo, or video by February 1st, that's tomorrow, by using this QR code. We hope you choose to contribute your creative spirit to this showcase, and we'd love to see you there. That was the news. Hey Hart, I'm here to interview Abby Siegmiller about the Literary Magazine. Can you tell me a little bit about what the Lit Mag is? The Lit Mag is a collection of student photos, drawings, prose, nonfiction, and poetry that we compile together and distribute in a magazine in the spring. And how can students submit work to the Lit Mag? There are flyers posted around campus with QR codes, or you can contact Ms. Mosin. Thank you for your time. No problem. I'm Madeline Grimes, reporting for RTV. Now back to you in the studio. That was Maddie, reporting on the upcoming Literacy Magazine. There are a lot of interesting sports going on here at Hearts campus. Today, we're going to take a look at girls basketball. I started playing basketball when I was five, so I've been kind of playing it for a long time. I think I got into it because most of my dad, like, he played basketball, and my brother also played it growing up. So I would say just for my family, I enjoy playing it. So yeah, I've been playing it for since I was five. So. Um, my favorite moment of this season was probably the bus rides to our away games because everybody on the bus is so fun, making all the little TikToks and dancing and music. I think I'm doing really good. I think as a team we're doing good. So I'm excited. I'm having really, I'm having fun this year. So uh, I'm excited for us to finish league off strong and go into playoffs and just keep our season going as long as we can because. I love this team so much. Good luck for the rest of your season, girls. I'm Miley DeLoya reporting for Heart TV. Back to you guys in the studio. That was Miley with her report on girls basketball. Good morning, Heart. This is Miss Carson with your Wellness Wednesday Mindfulness Moment. As the semester progresses, I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about the importance of creating and maintaining balance in your life. Sometimes at the beginning of something, like a new semester or a new year, we create all of these goals for ourselves but have a hard time maintaining them. Often, this is because we don't create enough balance in our lives and we get burnt out because our actions weren't sustainable. Maintaining a balanced life is not only good for your physical and mental health, but it also benefits your productivity when it's time to focus. Here are some ways you can create more balance in your life. First, be sure to identify your priorities. You don't have to do as many things as possible in one day. Choose the things that are the most important to you each day or what will contribute to your goals the most and focus on that. Don't forget that part of that means focusing on yourself. 
you will burn out if you don't make yourself a priority as well. Another thing you can do is design a routine for your life that makes things simpler and helps you get through the day or week smoothly. Lastly, embrace moderation. Your options do not have to be everything or nothing. Start slow and work towards your goals piece by piece. I hope this helps. Be well, heart. Now back to you in the studio. That was Ms. Carson with this week's Wellness Wednesday Report. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, I see. That was the pledge we just did. Today was Wednesday, January 31st, or shall we say, Backwards Day. What was Backwards Day? Well, it was really just an excuse for the producers to do the show backwards, but more importantly, to confuse the audience a bit. I was Charlene. And I was Sean. Good morning, Hart. Hey, Annabelle. Yeah, what's up? Did you know race car backwards is race car? <laughs> That's funny. No, radar straw cab, see radar. What? I said, and radar backwards is radar. Okay, whatever. Me, you're gonna. Excuse me? I said, I'm hungry. That's not what you said, but What right. did I say? I don't, I don't know. Well, I am. You wanna grab some lunch? Sure, whatever. 